Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have some new journals to share with you. This is my first journal restock of 2022 and they will all be available for sale in my Etsy shop. I'll have all of the details for the sale in the description box. I have a total of 15 journals to show you today. So because there is a lot of them, I'm just going to jump right in and show you them all. So this first set is a little collection. I've been calling them the Victorian Album Journals. So they are all hardcover journals. They've been made from scratch and they're all hand painted. They measure approximately five and a half inches by seven and a half inches. And on the front cover, there are these floral frames and they are from a Victorian photograph album. In the centre of the frame, I've decoupaged a butterfly on some Tim Holtz paper. The butterfly is actually made from some rice paper and I've also added some gold wax around the edges. So we have the rose, the honeysuckle, the clematis, is that how you say it? I'm not 100% sure. And also we have the black eyed Susan. And I'm just going to give you a bit of a look at them individually. So I'll start with the rose journal first. I've painted this in a light green colour and there are eight signatures and they've been bound in with a waxed linen thread. I've also got some beads here and this is the first time that I'm selling hardcover journals with charms on them. So lots of pretty colours there and that's the back of the journal as well. Now I'm just going to give you a really quick glimpse inside. I'm not going to be showing you every page, otherwise we are going to be here for a really, really long time. So just a quick mention that there are approximately 80 pages um, in each of these journals. So approximately 160 sides front and back. And all of these journals have similar types of papers in them. There are some pockets. There's also ledger paper, music paper. The pockets have actually been sewn in as well. There's some cream paper, botanical paper. The scrapbook paper in these journals is um, mainly by crepe paper or craft consortium. There's some lined paper, craft paper, cream paper. There's an Edith Holden book page. And all of these journals will have similar types of papers in them. There's some pretty ledger paper, paper bag. So that's the Rose journal. This next one is the Honeysuckle one. And I've painted this journal in a light brown colour. Again, there are eight signatures bound in with waxed linen thread. Here are all the beads. And here's the back of the journal as well. So I'm just going to give you another quick glimpse through this one. They do have similar sorts of papers. And I forgot to mention that none of the pockets have goodies in them this time, just to make it a little bit easier for myself. <laughs> There's an Edith Holden book page. Lots of pretty scrapbook paper, craft paper. There's a fold out page. So that's the honeysuckle one. This one is the Clematis. Is that how you say it? You'll have to let me know down in the comments if I've said it correctly because I'm not entirely sure. And this one's been painted in a light brown colour. Here's a spine, again eight signatures. And here are the pretty beads. Again, it's got similar sorts of papers, sewn in pockets, cream paper, pattern paper, music paper, book pages, Edith Holden book page, pretty botanical pages, ledger paper, craft paper. And 
and this pig bag. So that was a very quick look at this one. This next one is the Black Eyed Susan and this one's been painted in a slightly darker green colour. Again, there are eight signatures on the spine and these are the beads. Again, I'm just going to give you a really quick look. So like I said, they all have similar papers in them. So there's Edith Holden book page, there was a flip out page there, pattern paper, music paper, shown in pockets, ledger paper, craft paper, and that was that one. This next set of five journals are all hand-painted hardcover journals and have been made from scratch. They also measure approximately five and a half inches by seven and a half inches and they all have about 80 pages or 160 sides front and back. So let me show you each one of them now. So this one is the green one and it has a window front cover with a floor designed by crepe paper and there's some gold wax around the edges and on this one I've actually done a curved spine for the first time and I really like that, I think it looks really cool. There are also eight signatures on the spine and they've been bound in with a waxed linen thread. And then here's a closer look at the beads. So there's lots of greens, browns and golds. And then Again, similar sorts of papers. The pockets have been sewn in and none of the pockets have goodies in. And most of the paper is by Crate Paper, Craft Consortium and I have some Tim Holtz paper in here as well. Some ledger paper, craft paper, there's some Tim Holtz paper. There's an old book page. And I think there are some envelopes in some of these journals as well. There's music paper, coloured paper, lined paper, the paper bag, there's a children's dictionary page, uh, there's also some graphic 45 paper. That's a sewn in pocket. There's another envelope there. So that's the green one. Next up is this brown one and it has a raised floor design and this is by Crate Paper Maggie Holmes Garden Party and I absolutely love it. So again eight signatures on the spine and it's wax linen thread and I love this bead combination, lots of golds and browns. So again, lots of scrapbook paper, lined paper, book pages, craft paper, sewn in pockets. There's an envelope there. Some Tim Holtz paper. And some of the paper is double-sided and some of the scrapbook paper is single-sided. The flip-out page. Another envelope. So that was a look at that one. Then there is this one. This one is one of my favourites. It's been painted in a light pink colour with a more kind of white on top. So it's got this really light pinkish tone but that may not come across on camera. And I've also got a window front cover with an embossed floor design and that has been highlighted with some gold wax. And again, there are eight signatures on the spine bound in with wax linen thread. And here are the beads. So lots of pinks, golds and whites. And that's the back.
And again, the same sorts of papers, sewn in pockets, craft paper, lined paper, some music paper. Paper bags, grid paper. This is some pink parchment paper. Children's dictionary page and fold out page. It's an envelope. There's some onion skin paper here. Music paper, botanical book pages, another envelope. There's a um, bird book page. So that's this one. Next up is this one, and this is also one of my faves. It's um, been painted in a cream colour, and I've used a crackle medium, so it shows the pink paint underneath. I've also decoupaged a rose on the front, and this is actually rice paper. I think it's from the brand called AB Studio. I've also decoupaged a little rose on the spine. This one also has eight signatures and it's bound in with wax linen and thread. And then this is the back of the journal. There's also some decoupage on the back there. And then these are all the beads and charms. So there's just lots of um, greens, pinks and golds. There's also some gold detailing around the edge. And again, similar sorts of papers in here. Sewn in pockets, ledger paper, coloured paper, pretty pattern paper, children's dictionary book pages, grid paper, parchment paper, music paper. There's an envelope lined paper, another envelope, paper bag, botanical book pages, lots and lots of fun pretty papers to journal on. And that was a look at that one. And the last hand painted journal is this one. It's the only one that doesn't have a floral theme and I absolutely love it. So this was actually the first journal I started working on this year. All the rest of them kind of followed a floral theme. So this one has a window front cover. The paper is from Prima and I've also added some texture paste with a stencil and added some gold wax to bring out the design. This one also has a curved spine. This is the back of the journal. This one also has eight signatures and here's a look at the beads. So I'll just give you a quick glimpse inside this journal. This journal is slightly different in the fact that there aren't any floral or botanical papers. I've tried to keep all the designs quite neutral. Um, I'm not sure if you can see there actually. You might not see it on camera, but this is actually onion skin paper and with my hand underneath you can actually read that here it says onion skin. It's pretty cool. <laughs> um, so like I was saying, oh there's um, some fancy typewriter paper there. Um, it's got sewn in pockets and ledger paper, but their scrapbook papers are more kind of um, simple patterns, check grid designs or geometric patterns. There is some Tim Holtz paper. There is also an envelope. I just tried to keep all of the papers quite neutral so that they weren't floral or botanical themed because I didn't really feel like that fitted with the journal. But still, and I love that one, <laughs> but still lots of pretty papers to journal on and add photos on. So that was a quick look at that one. Next up are some fabric covered journals. I've made them from scratch, but instead of painting them, I've just covered them with some floral fabrics. They all measure about five and a half inches by seven and a half inches, and they also have about 80 pages or 160 sides front and back. So let me show you these journals one by one. First up is this one. It's a stark floral print, and I absolutely love this one. 
This fabric was thrifted. This one actually appeared in my third thrift haul, which is the most recent one up on my channel. This is a metal book plate by Tim Holtz, and this word in here is a printable from My Porch Prints. There's also eight signatures that have been bound in with a wax linen thread, and here's a look at the back. And then again, in this journal, similar sorts of paper. There's scrapbook paper by Craft Consortium and Crepe Paper. There's botanical book pages, lined paper. There's some coloured paper, cream paper. There's some sewn in pockets, botanical book pages, music paper, children's book pages, grid paper. Lots of pretty papers for you to journal on. The paper bag as well. So that was a quick look at that one. This is the next one. This has a white floral ditzy print fabric and this one was also thrifted. This one also appeared in thrift haul number three along with the other dark one. This is also a metal book plate by Tim Holtz and again the word is a printable from My Porch Prints. Again eight signatures. And that's a look at the back. And again, similar papers, lots of scrapbook paper, vintage book pages, coloured paper, music paper, lined paper, some grid paper. Sewn in pockets. Lots and lots of pretty patterned papers. <laughs> and that was a look at that one. Next up is this one, and I love this one. This fabric was also thrifted. This was actually in thrift haul number one. So it was in my very first thrift haul that I showed this fabric. And this here is a metal word band that says capture life's moments and it's by Tim Holtz, and I just love this one. There's eight signatures on the spine. Let's look at the back. Again, similar sorts of papers. Lots of scrapbook paper by Crate Paper and Craft Consortium. Cream paper, sewn in pockets. There's a flip out page. Botanical book pages. Craft paper, music paper. So that was a really quick look at that one. The last three journals to show you are actually altered books. They are all Alice in Wonderland books and I'll just go ahead and show you each one individually. This one is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. It measures approximately eight and a quarter inches by six inches and there are four signatures bound into the spine. That is the back and I'm not sure if you can see on camera but there is a little bit of discoloration on the spine. I have left it as it is. I have strengthened the spine on the inside and I've also left the inner book pages as well. So there are similar um, pages like the other journals and I've also included some of the original book pages. There's also a game sheet there, an envelope. The scrapbook papers are crepe paper, craft consortium and I also think there's some graphic 45 in here as well. Oh yeah, here's graphic 45 and it's a collection Alice's Tea Party. The paper bag. There's a children's dictionary page, lined paper, so similar papers as the other journals. There's also sewn in pockets. So that was a quick look at that one. Next is this one, it's through the looking glass. And again, four signatures on the spine, and it also measures eight and a quarter inches by six inches. And again, this one also has some discoloration on the spine as well. And again, this one has a different inner cover. And 
there's some more graphic 45 paper as well sewn in pockets I love this page here <laughs> there's an envelope so that was a quick look at that one and then the last journal I have to show you today is this one. This one is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. This one is a little bit smaller. This one actually measures five inches by seven and a half inches. And there are just three signatures bound into this journal. Here's a look at the back. I've also added some metal book corners on them just to protect them a little bit. So here's a look at those. There is also a little bit of wear on the spine at the top here and some discoloration and some down here as well. There are approximately, oh, I don't think I mentioned, <laughs> um, in these two kind of green journals, I forgot to mention there's about 48 pages, so 96 sides front and back. This journal has 36 pages, so approximately 72 sides front and back. And again, this one also has some um, original book pages in here. And I've actually lined this one with some music paper and strengthened the spine with some fabric. So here's some of the original book page. But again, it's also got an envelope. And there's some craft paper, sewn in pockets, lined paper. The same sort of scrapbook paper by Graphic 45, craft consortium and um, crepe paper. Some grid paper, the game sheet. And that was a quick look at that journal. So each of these journals will be coming with a little goodie bag filled with 20 pieces of ephemera. There are some journaling cards from Crate Paper and Tim Holtz. There are also lots of vintage pieces of ephemera for you to play with and to add into your journal. They also all include the same variety of items. I really hope you enjoyed seeing a flip through of all of my journals today. I'm really sorry it wasn't a longer flip through of each journal, but we would have been here for a super long time. So I hope you don't mind just a quick glimpse into each one. I also feel like it will just add a little element of surprise when you receive the journal, because then you can have a proper look through at all of the pages. So all of these journals will be going up in my Etsy shop. At the time of filming this video, I'm not 100% sure when that will be, but I will leave the information in the description box for you. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.